What's up everyone, it's Matt Morozik. Got a couple uh, kit reviews for you today. Um, these came in from Greece, and I'm gonna butcher this guy's name because I can't pronounce it. <laughs> I think it's Georgios, something like that. So I apologize, I'm butchering your name, and the last name I'm not even gonna attempt to pronounce. But I'll put a link down below um, to his Facebook page. Um, but anyway, I discovered this guy through another posting on Resin Maniacs, and I looked at his stuff, and he had a bunch of stuff um available so i ordered some stuff and i tell you what these guys are producing really nice kits at really reasonable prices i got all three of these shipped from greece for under 200 bucks so that's really good and the quality is exceptional so let's go through what i have i will put these two guys to the side for now and we'll go for the first one which is a space monkey plaque so um it's a plaque and he signed it to my friend matt morozik best regards and georgos I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. Or Georgios, Georgios, Georgos. I'm sorry, I apologize. <laughs> but he signed it, which is nice. And he put the date on there. Um, and he even embosses his initials in the piece, which I really like. So the detail and the casting on these pieces is phenomenal. Um, really cool sculpts. Uh, they kind of range from this kind of steampunk, space sci-fi feel to more... Uh, to the Orc Berserker, which we'll get to uh, next, uh, kind of like a uh, World of Warcraft feel, but really cool pieces. Um, you only had the Space Monkey plaque available. I think there's a bust also, but you only had the plaque available, so I got this. I thought it looked really cool, kind of mounted on a piece of steel. But the sculpting is really, really fantastic. Lots of cool details with all these pipes and everything going into his um, air respirator. It's even kind of hard to tell it's an ape unless you look at the ear sticking out here. <laughs> but this is a, a space ape. Um, just really nicely done. There's no mold line. It's a one-piece mold, just molded flat down like that. Uh, but this will be a ton of fun to a ton of fun to paint with all these little details in here. I'll probably I'll probably hand paint this guy because uh, it'll be a good experiment. I, I don't do a, lot, a whole lot of hand painting, but he might be a good subject to kind of try that on because um, there's not you know there's not a lot of flesh or anything. There's a little bit of fur exposed here, here, and like his ear and stuff. But for the rest of it, it's all metal parts. So. Really cool piece. Um, he's a nice size. Um, yeah, so uh, check out his Facebook page to, order, to look at some of his other pieces, but this is really cool. Um, we'll do the Orc Berserker next. He's the biggest piece that I got. And let me get a tape measure. Let me get a measurement for you. He actually has three pieces. He's got that piece. He's got shoulder armor and his ponytail. So let's back him up. And he is right at about hmm, seven and a half inches tall or so. Another really cool piece. Kind of reminds me of a World of Warcraft kind of look. It's got this awesome shoulder armor with these killer spikes on it. Um, and the fit on here is like perfect. There's no gap whatsoever. So that will pin in there perfectly. So you can paint them separate, which is nice. A little bit of a seam line you got to fix here. No big deal. Um, as usual, there's always going to be seam lines and maybe some bubbles and stuff from casting. But um, phenomenal sculpt. Incredible detail. I broke the tip off of this one a little bit, so I had to glue it back on. So that's why it's like that. But um, that was not... The packaging was done very well. It shipped um, with no damage whatsoever. And the box was even beat up quite a bit when I got it. So the packaging was done very well. Everything was protected nicely. Um, I'm not seeing any mold lines on this, so again, I'm assuming this is a, uh, there's a little slight mold line, but again, I can barely see it. This is like on par with Paul Gill casting as far as like, uh, cleanliness and lack of mold lines, but, uh, really cool. So that's the shoulder armor. Here's the orc himself. I think I already showed you that the shoulder armor goes on like this. Again, sign the bot or put his initials, sign your work guys, put your initials on so we know who did it and we can, you know, brag about you. Really cool details, nice muscle definition in the neck. The look on his face is just like, he's pissed off, he's ready to get you, really cool. Nice detail here in the belt or the shoulder strap here that kind of goes onto his armor which holds it in place. And a uh, cool little, little claws on the bottom here. And I like what he did to the back here, he just kind of replicated kind of like a fur texture. And again, he signed his initials on the, on the piece which is always nice. And then he's got a ponytail, and it fits perfectly back here. Um, there it goes, right there. There's like little to no seam work to be done. It's like awesome. 
So this is a really cool piece. Um, this is what he has on his Facebook page as his profile pic all painted up. So it's a good reference, color reference for, for painting this guy. And the last guy I got is a steampunk goblin. And this guy's just, again, really cool. Tons of little details, pipes, mechanical gears, and this reminds me of the, I don't know, I can't remember, I don't know the character's name for Mad Max Thunder Road, the, uh, the newest one, the weird guy with the big thing on his face. <laughs> um, reminds me of that character. Again, the guy's initials on the bottom, a little makeshift base that it can stand on. This would probably look nicer on a wooden base or maybe a stone base. The or Orc Berserker would look cool on a, on a stone base. This guy might look good on a, um, everyone does a wooden base, it's like, kind of boring something. I'm trying to think of someone else I could do, but again, really nice details. You can see a little bit of the goblin peeking out there underneath the helmet. Just cool old goblin looking guy. It looks like it's a beard. I can't tell if it's a beard or what that is. Kind of sticking out here, that's fur. I'm guessing that might be like beard material. It's hard to tell. Uh, it's got this nice hammered metal look on the helmet and stuff. Now he did, it looks like he did go in and try to clean up the mold line a little bit for me uh, on the helmet here. And uh, that's my only little crit on on this piece is the, the cleaning up of the mold line. I always prefer that the producer doesn't do any cleanup at all. Um, you know, I know sometimes you're trying to, you know, show your work off as, as best as possible while you're cleaning it up. And I get that, but I think it's best to leave it to the builder slash painter um, because there's some of that hammer detail kind of got lost. So I'll just go in there with a the Dremel and kind of put that back a little bit. Like I got over sanded a little bit. So I'd rather see what was there, um, before any cleanup attempt. So it looks like he cleaned, tried to clean up a little bit. I could be wrong, but, um, nice hammered metal look on the back here again. This guy's initials, a uh, little, uh, initials, uh, signed in there. <coughs> Excuse me. One little bubble in the pipe here, which is no big deal. But just really cool pieces, man. And I, like I said, I got all three of these shipped from Greece for less than 200 bucks. So um, give him a shout out on Facebook. Again, I'm not even going to try to pronounce his name. <laughs> it's, it's a mouthful. So I apologize for uh, not being able to pronounce it. But yeah, these pieces are really cool. He's got a bunch of our, I could have bought a ton of stuff. But um, I still need to buy <laughs> some stuff from Paul Gill. I need to buy his Beetlejuice and I'll get his Mighty Mouse. And I've got a bunch of pre-orders in the works too for big stuff. So, um, yeah, I got a lot of stuff coming. But, yeah, just three really cool pieces. Awesome sculpts. Super high quality. Price is, you can't beat the price um, for what you get. Um, so, yeah, really cool. So, uh, check him out. Buy something from him. And I think you will be more than happy with your purchase. So, as always, thanks for watching. It's Matt Morozik. Catch you guys later. Bye.